Hey there, my name is Brian. I'm back for another video. I want to uh, bring my Nicaraguan boa back. He uh, just shed like two days ago and uh, people, you know, here and there, I don't have many viewers like to uh, pop in and send a request, say, hey man, I made a scene of a uh, Nicaraguan boa video from you in a little while. And uh, so I just want to make a video. My tegus are brumating, my two tegus, and they uh, can't make content with them while they're sleeping. And so I wanted to bring this guy out, but I got something I was kind of excited about. You know, my excitement and your excitement may be different, but uh, I got on the back wall here. Let me get him off. He's going to twist off my mic. He likes to grab on and hold on. So we're just going to hold on to him here. But here I've got his uh, shed skin. I try to do my best. I'm 99% sure that I got all his skins. I just, he sheds them and I save them in a drawer and uh, but i got a little bit more of a gap between number two and number three um i don't know what happened there or if there was a time he went through a period where he just didn't shed and grew um how that worked out but maybe i missed one but these were basically all his sheds this is the one he shed just yesterday or the day before uh, these are all his sheds just kind of showing you and uh, let me know what you think of that. Is that kind of quirky or, you know, kind of gross or, you know, some people be like, ooh, you know, that's kind of like toenail clippings and things like that. I don't know. Uh, or, or shed skin when you shed your skin, you know, and you kind of fumble around with that. But, I mean, anyways, I just thought, you know, um, I'd share it with everybody. You might think it's cool. Um, and I plan on maybe, you know, possibly as long as I can, you know, just saving the skins and then maybe do another video in a year and kind of see where we stand. But uh, man, he sure is stuck onto my mic. He will not come off. Um, my mic is right here. But you can see how light uh, gray colored he is. He's such a cool snake, and it's really cold in this part of my house. And again, we're you know our weather went dipped down and then went back up to you know the 70s, the low 80s, uh, mid 70s, and now the weather's crashing again. Um, for Christmas and also too, I just want to wish everybody a happy Merry Christmas um, and you know, hopefully you know you're uh, having a good time this month or towards the end of the month and everything goes well and we have a little bit broader future for January but yeah so um, Manny can uh, change his color you know depending on his mood I don't know if, if people knew that or if they have a Nicaraguan boa he can be a real light gray colored and then when mood changes or maybe temperature you know he can turn into a much darker more darker charcoal gray and um, i mean he doesn't have a lot of color but his tail if i could show you and get that in the light uh, most boas or like red tail boas that have a little bit more color in this area he's definitely got some some dark browns and some rust colors and some uh, kind of a mustard uh, orangish burnt orange color but really beautiful snake and i wish he let go of my mic i want to show you some people are saying what kind of color of belly does he have and let me he's got like a, a cream colored belly with the black spots and a little bit of rust color in there is it best about it? i could say it kind of like a, a a slight pew uh pink hue pew pink hue um and again manny likes to Always grab on to something so if he, you know, loses grip or he don't fall to the ground and hurt himself. Um, so he's always constantly grabbing on and then just likes to hang around me. So such a cool snake. Love this snake. If anyone's considering getting a snake, you know, and wants something a little more exotic than a corn snake or something, uh, then I recommend the South American, Central American boas, uh, you know, more of the dwarf boas. And there's all kinds of different ones. So you want to check and make sure that yours is the dwarf and, you know, that type so that um, Manny will only get about four and a half feet to five feet, depending on male or female. Maybe five and a half is, a, you know, the longest. It's a big version of this snake. So very easy to feed and very easy to house and very easy to care for and uh, very, very manageable. Um, I've had in the past snakes uh, that... Um, we're you know obviously going to be real big snakes like a burmese python and about nine feet and i was overwhelmed uh, but luckily i had uh, people that wanted him and had the capability of taking care of him so i had to pass him off and um, you know sad that you know you got to give up your your animal but 
um, when they get super super large you know like 10 foot 12 foot 14 foot um, it gets really difficult to feed them and so that's a big deal with this snake is it's very easy to take care of and uh, manage so other than that that's the video if you liked my content just be sure to like and share so i got more you know uh, more than 60 views um, but yeah you know it is what it is i got manny as a baby uh, 11 to 12 inches long and now he's three feet uh, one inch uh, one inch long so a little bit over three feet so he's grown quite a bit in the year in four months that i've i've had him and uh, he's doing really really well so i just want to bring another video to everybody okay Bye-bye. Have a great, uh, great day, great evening, wherever you are. All right. Bye-bye.